happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. As you saw this morning, it is a very rainy day today and I think it's going to rain all day, so I don't really have much planned. I think I'm going to go to the supermarket later on, so I'm going to take you along with me and show you what I get from the supermarket and just, yeah, show you our weekly shop. Um, I usually go to the market on Saturdays, but we ended up doing a bit of homeware shopping again on Saturday, so we didn't end up getting to the market. So, yeah, I'm just going to do my whole food shop at the grocery store and then I might need to go to the health food store for a couple of things. But, um, yeah, and then the butcher as well. We get all our meats from the butcher. So I'm going to take you along to show you where I get everything from. And yeah, I'll do a little grocery haul when we get home. But yeah, that's all I've really got planned today. I think it will just be a little home day. So yeah, I thought I would vlog today and show you what we get up to. But I'm just starting to make my glow drink for the morning. I was actually really stuck at having this last week. And I was so bloated and in like so much just discomfort all week. So yeah, this is definitely something that I need to have every single morning. Otherwise, yeah, I just don't feel the full benefits from it. So I will definitely be having this every morning this week so that I'm feeling better. But yeah, I just find it so good for me. And yeah, my body and gut absolutely loves it. And even my skin, like, I just feel like my skin's always so clear. And luckily it didn't affect my skin last week not having it. Um, I do have pretty good skin to begin with. Thanks, mum. But yeah, it really does make my skin a lot more vibrant and glowy when I do have it just from this um, Skin Alexa. But yeah, definitely something I need to keep having every single morning. Mm -mm. Okay, Tidy's down for his morning nap, so I'll come back to you once he is awake and I've gotten him up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what we're going to do on this rainy day because as you saw in a few vlogs ago, he absolutely hates being inside all day. He just gets so bored. So I'm going to have a little brainstorm and see what I come up with. Hi, Boomers. Did you wake up happy, did you? Oh, my snuggles. Look, it's so rainy outside. It's so rainy. Uh-oh. So rainy out there. Guys, do we love the curtains? I love them. Do you love them? They pretty? <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do today? It's so rainy. It's rainy and cold out there. What are we gonna do? Don't pull them. Don't you pull them? Good boy, nothing gentle. <gasps> you say hello. Say good morning. Good morning. Yay. Yeah. I was going to go to the supermarket after Tide's lunch nap to get him out of the house in the afternoon, but I think it's going to stop raining for a little bit, so I think we're going to go soon. But before I go to the supermarket, I always like to write down my dinners for the week so that I have a little game plan. Sorry, that's my heater starting. Um, a little game plan of what I'm going to get. So all the meat I usually buy like for two days and then I'll go back and buy it fresh just because I feel like it tastes better. And yeah, I get it from the butcher. So it doesn't really last that long. So I always try and just get like two days worth of meat and then the supermarket for my groceries I try and grab the whole week's worth because i find that they will last that week um well at least monday to friday and then on the weekends we usually don't really cook much um yeah we usually just spend the weekends with family and friends and yeah eating out a bit more so i'm going to write down our dinners and plan out our dinners for the week and then for lunches we usually just have leftovers or i'll yeah make a little salad roll or something like that so i'm going to go plan this now and then i will reconvene with you when we are on the way to the supermarket Yay! Oh, you love food? No. Oh. Say, let's go to the supermarket! Let's go! Yay! Yay!
just gonna get Todd some lunch. Oh, you're hiding. You're hiding behind the bed. No. You want some lunch? No, no, no. You're hungry. I'm gonna get Todd some lunch and then I'll show you what we got from the supermarket. So it wasn't a massive shop because I still do have a lot of snacky stuff in the cupboard. Um, so yeah, it was mainly just like fruit and veggies and then a few other things. So first of all, I went to the butcher, so I got um, some beef mince and some chicken mince. I'm gonna make some chicken meatball, like a chicken noodle soup with meatballs. So that's that. And then I got some biscuits to have with some dip. Another packet of biscuits, milk, oat milk, dishwashing liquid, oats for tied porridge. Can't go wrong with a little sneaky chocolate bar. All right, next up I have pulse pasta. So this is the pasta that I give Tide when we have spaghetti bolognese or anything like that. Um, we do have normal pasta, but we just give him the pulse pasta. So he loves the cheap pea one. And there's also a red lentil one that he absolutely loves as well. <laughs> Can you see the pasta? Sit down and eat your chicken. And then obviously normal pasta for us. All right, then we've got two little um, tubs of Greek yogurt. So this is what I give Tide um, just for snacks and things like that. A butter chicken paste. So I'm going to make this butter chicken. There's a cafe around here that has a roti with butter chicken, but it's got, it doesn't have chicken in it. It's got chickpeas and veggies. So I'm going to make that and have that for lunch. Bananas, lots of bananas. We'll go through bananas like crazy in this house. Capsicum, red capsicum, green capsicum, mushrooms, two dips for those crackers. Then we've got pumpkin and sweet corn. This is Ty's favorite veggie, sweet corn. He absolutely loves it, don't you? You love the sweet corn? Yeah. Yum, yum. And two zucchinis. Last bag we have got, okay, we've got three punnets of raspberries. We go through berries as well so quickly in this house. So three punnets of raspberries, three punnets of strawberries. Then I've got two avocados, the drizzle dust chocolate popcorn. I haven't tried it yet, um, but it looks delicious. And we've got some broccoli. I'm trying to get Ty to eat some broccoli. He doesn't really like it. So I'm going to try and um, hide it in some of his dinners and see if he'll eat that. Then we've got two carrots, two apples, one tomato, they only had one more left, which was so sad. I would usually get like three or four tomatoes, but one tomato today. Then we've got the roti for my butter chickpea roti. And last of all is some green peas. So this is Ty's other favorite veggies. Corn and peas are his absolute favorite. He actually like, if he has these on his plate, this, this is what he'll go for first. So lots of peas and lots of corn for you. Sit down. He's going through this phase where he wants to stand up in his high chair. Can you please sit down? Sit down. We're gonna sit down and eat chicken. Sit down. Goodness. Sit down and eat. Sit down. Good boy. I need to get your straps back on here. Good boy. Eat your chicken and then I'll give you some veggies. Yum. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Eat it up. But yeah, that is my grocery shop done for the week. Obviously, I still need to go and grab um, two more nights of meat from the butcher. Um, but yeah, I just find that it tastes a bit better fresh. So I'm going to go and put all this away and make sure this little munchkin stays sitting down. <coughs> yeah, is that yummy cucumber? Yum, yum. Oh, you're going to give them some cucumber, are you? Oh, <laughs> yucky. you got to chew it up. So I'm back in the supermarket car park. I was prepping dinner. I was being organized. Lucky actually got home early. So I was like, can you take Tide while I prep dinner and we'll just be organized because the nighttime routine is a little bit hectic. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get organized. I'll prep dinner and be all ready for when we're ready to eat. Anyway, I was cooking my chicken noodle soup and I realized that I had no noodles, which I forgot at the supermarket. I swear I put them in my basket, but for the life of me, I can't find them in my cupboard. So I'm back at the supermarket in the car park. It is raining, but I'm gonna go in and get these noodles and go home and I'll show you what I've prepped for dinner. Thank you.
skincare routine obviously I showed you in a few vlogs ago my um, morning skincare routine so it's pretty similar but I do like to um, add in this little face towel to get rid of my makeup first so I've just popped some hot water on this or some warm water and I just wipe off as much as I can um, I don't have much on as you can see there's only a little bit on there so I just get as much as I can off because I just find that the cleanser works so much better um, if you if you have like a bare face so I get the rest of that off first and then one thing I do like to do if I have the time is just get like a warm um, face washer and I just hold it on my skin. So I'm just going to do that now as well. Just help open your pores before yeah, you start your skincare routine. You can just open up my pores. It feels so nice. so this is the soothing glow cleanser so this is probably my favorite cleanser i've ever used it's just nice and gentle um and i find that it helps my skin be nice and glowy and radiant so that one goes on first just because it is a little bit wet i don't need to splash my face with water um but usually i would just do this in the shower and wet my face first might just need a little bit more water it doesn't really foam up foam up much and that's just because it is quite natural so um, if you do have a cleanser that foams up much, just have a look at the ingredients that are in it and yeah, just make sure that you're not putting anything nasty or harsh onto your skin. All right, I'm just going to wash that one off. Yeah, I'm going to dry that off. Always just patting rather than wiping, especially under your eyes, just because they are so delicate, that skin underneath it. I have run out of my serum, so I need to order some more, but I am going to start off with these Radiance, um, Daily Radiance Peel Pad. So this is just like a gentle exfoliator. I'm just gonna wipe that over my face, just nice and gentle. So yeah, it is a gentle exfoliator, so you can use these every single day. Um, I'll either only use them day or night. Um, so yeah, just once a day. And yeah, they're super nice. So usually in the mornings, I will use this Hydrate Me eye cream just because it is a little um, bit pearl, like a little bit pearly. Um, so I find that it really hydrates my eyes in the morning mm. if I just need that little bit of extra hydration and brightness. But at night, I like to use the Glow eye cream. So um, yeah, it's just a plain cream. So I just find that in the mornings, that other one works better and just gives me a little bit more glow in the morning um but yeah this one's really nice it's a bit thicker as well and then yeah always just patting underneath the eyes perfect and then i'm going to go in with my skin oil so this is the illuminating skin therapy concentration so i'm just going to pop that on my hand i have it on a few times on my face but i find it always just goes into my eye i don't know what i'm doing wrong but i just pop it into my palm and i just press it on as well just because i don't want to get too much on my skin especially at night so i just press that one into my skin and then I'm just going to rub the excess off onto my hands. And lastly, I'm going to go in with my Glow Cream. This is my absolute favorite moisturizer ever. Um, yeah, it just it makes obviously the name Glow Cream. It makes you so glowy and hydrated. So especially during the day underneath makeup, it looks so nice. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on. And then that's pretty much my skincare routine done at night. I might just go in with my Gua Sha and give myself a little bit of a face massage. Just because I have that extra time. But yeah, other than that, that is my skincare routine done for the night. As I said before, I don't always get time to do my skincare routine at night. Um, nights are a little bit hectic, so it's always nice to just take some time and do your skincare routine. At night. But yeah, I'm just going to finish off doing my Gua Sha. I'm actually really loving this. I didn't think that I would really like it or it would make much difference, but I'm not sure if it's making a difference, but it does make myself, my skin feel nice. Um, 
and yeah it's just a little bit of like a spa treatment at the end of the day so yeah i really am liking this so if you haven't tried the gua sha definitely go and do that um but yeah i'm just going to finish doing this and then i might sit down and watch some tv for the rest of the night but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was a little bit random as i said it was a rainy day today so we didn't really get up to much but i hope you guys liked coming to the grocery store with me and yeah doing my nighttime skincare routine so if you did like and subscribe because it does support my channel and yeah i'll see you in my next video